What is it, y'all? Welcome. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this is Miguel Antonio Barragan, a.k.a. Fight Fiend Migs, uh, joined, as always, by my co-host, Andrew, don't get it twisted, Lapache. And this is the Mad Boxing Show, or Mad Boxing for short. As always, thank you for joining us. Uh, I am uh, tuning in live from uh, Draper, Utah, which I'm over here in Utah for the weekend, for Father's Day weekend. Came to visit some of my BFFs. I know, uh, I know Homeboy Lee, uh, he's the hater when I say uh, BFFs, but Came to visit one of my BFFs, uh, one of his kids having a birthday party. So we drove out here from Vegas uh, to have a nice little weekend out here. We're driving back home tomorrow. So the internet connection isn't as good as it should be, but it'll do for today. And I definitely didn't want to, you know, me and Andrew don't want to leave you guys hanging for the weekend, especially uh, after this this great weekend of fights. Um, and on top of that, a Father's Day weekend. So for all you fathers out there listening, thank you so much. Uh, your work is um, always appreciated and uh, not overlooked. So happy Father's Day to everybody including yourself, Andrew. Um, so before we get into the details of so much stuff we got going on with the results of Tank and Frank Martin and Benavides and the uh, opponent that we will not hear from anytime soon ever again um, and some <laughs> <laughs> some other other fights. But uh, before we get into that, Andrew, what's happening, dude? How you doing? Hey, what up, bro? Nah, doing good. Had a great Father's Day weekend. It was Christina's birthday weekend, too. Oh, OK. Dang. Yeah, all right. So we cashed in. We cashed in some of our casino losing, <laughs> and okay. and we're like, and got a room. You know, when you lose so much, they start giving you stuff. Oh, uh, no, I don't know that. I, I don't. I don't oh, lose that much. Oh I yeah, you, that much you, to begin with. You got to lose a lot, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a consolation prize. Like, ah, yeah. okay, you gave us yeah. a lot. Yeah, you're like, man, these fucks, the these <laughs> these guys again. Here, take a fucking pan. Yeah. Take a frying pan with you. I'm like <laughs> I. I lost a thousand dollars. I get a fucking sweatshirt. Yeah, whatever. It's like no, right, no, it's... Give you a coffee mug. We'll give you a coffee mug and a couple of posters <laughs> so you can advertise it for free. Oh, okay. you know, you want to know what's sad is I bought that coffee mug, so oh, I lost. Nice. I probably lost that night and then walked to the gift shop and spent. More. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but we did I good. I get my casino more money. Let's let's go ahead and buy yeah. it. <laughs> no, we did good. We were in Reno. I love Reno. I know it's old to most, but I love Reno. I've been... never been to Reno. I actually want to go to Reno. One of you got to go, bro. Yeah, you got to go. Right. How far is yeah. it from you? Because it's it's up there, right? I mean, it's I mean that's the reason you go, right? About three three hours and twenty five minutes from my house. Okay, okay. well, it's a nice drive. Okay. Yeah, it's and yeah, it's all mountains. It's really nice, nice drive. Um, so I, we were there for the barbecue blues festival. That was mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, great weather. Um, didn't try too much food. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling that. That we we had eaten. Uh, we had reservations for dinner, so I oh, couldn't. Gotcha. Really, I didn't want to eat too much meats. You know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. Um, so yeah, we did that, and then uh, gambled, and then I got my Father's Day gifts. I got a coffee mug. I got oh. this shirt. This oh, yeah. shirt right here has the Junior on the back, right? Oh, that's that's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's the symbol my my wife made for my son. Um, oh. Told her she's kind of jumping the gun, bro. Try, trust me. <laughs> I I told her she's already got the merch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's already designing shit. I'm like, come on, babe. babe. <laughs> but it's cool. It's very cool. So then right. she got me this one. Oh. It's and bam, color. baby. Oh, yeah. Hey. 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 Oh, that's badass, yo. Hell so yeah. I got, so I got that. that for me. So we Damn. did good. It was a great Father's Day weekend, man. Yeah, especially after that shirt. Damn, that's a sick ass shirt. <laughs> Got the hey, uh, and Christina won half of my money back. We didn't call oh. home to losers. We we always hit Boomstown. Boomstown mm -hmm. is right outside of Reno, dude. It's like the last casino, little you know, little casino area before you start heading home. So most of the people from Northern California, mm -hmm. and then my wife is. Bring in my oh nice. <laughs> That's a big ass mug, yo. Let's drink a lot of coffee. Um, so then we hit Boomstown and she won six hundred back. She was at seven something, but she's she put some money back. I think she's seven seventy three. She put some back and we take home six. So it right. was good. Yeah, not, at least you didn't that That's yeah, right. It's not that bad of a loss, right? That's right. I was like, thank you very much. <laughs> hey, you want right. hey you guys want to know it's funny too? She hit one jackpot and I was I was already thinking of bouncing, right? I'm like, come on, baby, you hit, you hit a jackpot, we could go home. She's like, no, we're gonna do it again. She <laughs> fuck it. She did it again. I, I couldn't believe the machine gave her two progressives. Um, but whatever. It works. 
Yeah. Hey, I don't blame you though. You, got, you sometimes you just got to go with the gut feeling. It's like, no, we're going, we're getting another one right now. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. That, hey, that's when you end up broke. But whatever, it, uh, it worked for us that time. It, it's it, sometimes you end up broke. Sometimes you end up not at it. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you just end up with the frying pan, Miguel. Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they get the free oven mitts just because. <laughs> hey, I even told her. I said, "Are these like presents now? Because you're getting a lot of them. Can we just call these presents for me? Yeah. What the fuck, man?" <laughs> uh, it's like we'll give you the reversible baseball cap just because we're nice. Uh, all right. Well, uh, thank you guys for uh, you know. Uh, uh, listening to our, us rant of our weekend here but we do have some fights to get to of course because we did have several several fights uh of course the the main one and one of the reasons why it's the main one is because it's it has of course who is uh, considered the face of boxing or at least one of the faces of boxing gervonta tank davis putting his uh i believe wba uh lightweight title on the line uh against uh frank martin uh that was the main event of this pay-per-view card pbc uh, which by the way i don't see a lot of amazon prime logos all over the pay-per-view i just see a bunch of pbc on pay-per-view pbc this and that's that i don't see a lot of amazon prime um that could be an ah. thing to come yeah. but it uh, doesn't seem to have a lot of advertisement there um and one of the other reasons why it was the main card this weekend is because there's nothing else scheduled after this fight so i don't know how that's <laughs> gonna gonna happen we we may very well have just witnessed the last pbc on uh, amazon prime um pay-per-view card and maybe the last pbc card ever who knows but We'll see. We'll see how that goes. But uh, in addition to that, the co-main event with David Benavides and uh, Alexander, the last name who we still cannot pronounce, but is irrelevant at this point after this um, subpar performance against Benavides, which we'll get into momentarily. So, uh, of course, there's also uh, fights on the zone with uh, Matias and Paro. But before we get into that, because we got to mention Paro because of our homie Sam Navajero out in Australia, who is basically throwing a party. It's been a pretty bad, you know, year for uh, Australian boxing. So he's like, we got one back. We got one back. All right. So <laughs> big to, one. That was a big to, one. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. To quote uh, Eddie Hearn, who was in the ring afterwards, like massive, massive win. Massive. You use that word a lot. But <laughs> um, yeah, let's, let's talk about uh, Tank and, uh, and Martin. Um, wow. OK, well, I mean, you know. We, we kind of we, we knew this was going to happen, right? We, we kind of anticipated that the fight wasn't going to be as easy as most people thought. I'm sure people anticipated Tank getting him out of there earlier, but he ultimately did it. So, uh, Andrew, what did you see? What did you think about it? How, how would you assess it? What kind of scorecard would you give him? Oh, not a scorecard. He was out in the eighth well, round. I mean, I mean, like, I guess I meant to say a grade. A grade? Oh, a grade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, um... Tank is a real weird uh, – Tank has a lot of power, right? Sure. But his his thing is he's always behind on cards. To be behind on cards, you got to get hit, right? And I think this just added to um, the confidence of, of people that are looking to face him in the future. Like, yeah, he's got power, but he's also very hittable. He's all, He also loses rounds, you know? And to be honest with you, he's lost a little star power with Floyd leaving him. And I know we'll get into that later, but I'm just putting that in there. He doesn't have that backing anymore, right? Now it's just him and Leonard Ellerby. And Leonard's cool, but he's not Floyd Mayweather, no, right? Which, he's which we'll get into later on. <laughs> he, he's, <laughs> definitely, he's definitely Richard Schaefer, right? Yeah, he's sure. Richard Schaefer and Floyd is Oscar. That's them okay. two in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. So Tanks, Tanks lost a little bit of star power for his corner. Um, I was, I was, I was happy that he won. I was not that impressed on how he did it. I thought it was some sloppy fighting going on in there. The, just, he a lot of power punching, and Tank's got to watch out that he doesn't turn into that right where it's just like, oh, don't worry, I'm gonna land one of these and it's gonna hurt you. Don't turn into that guy because it's not. This will end really fast. Well, it's it's kind of worked for him so far. You know, that's kind of yes. like. But on this night, it even slope. Yeah. on this night. We can say it was Frank Martin that was making him look a little bit, you know, like a little bit more robotic, hmm. right? Um, or or it's Tank starting to transition into this power punching, walk you down, don't need to do a lot of in through the rounds kind of deal. So I don't know which one it is. To be honest with you, we're probably not going to find out who Tank is until he steps up his opposition. Look, I didn't buy this fight. I'll put it out there right now. I'm not buying a fight on a guy that doesn't deserve pay-per-view. And I thought both of the co-main events did not deserve this pay-per-view. 
right? Both opponents in the co-main event and in the main event. Excuse me. Um, I mean, Gavodkik doesn't show up for three fucking years. It comes back. You know what I mean? Like, bro, it's weird. His his biggest win is freaking almost a decade ago, and we're talking about this guy. And you're supposed to, I'm supposed to pay you eighty bucks to watch this. Then you got Frank Martin. I I picked knockout. Didn't have him going the distance, so I already knew the win, the closing. It was just it was a fight I couldn't even give an argument to. Mm-hmm. Listen, if these guys are both the face of boxing and they lose to people that are relevant, where are we are at as a sport. So step up your opposition. Look, I know they're talking about Frank versus Lamanchenko. It's a great fight. Let's get it done. Let's not talk about it. Just the. Let's not talk Wait, about it. Just thank you, thank you, man. Yeah. So I said. Okay. Oh, they said Frank. My bad. They're talking no, about no, Frank. No, no, like, tank. Okay, okay. No, tank. Tank and, and Loma. Um, it's the only reason why I think that this story is real is because mm-hmm. Bob Arum was talking about it. Bob is saying that they're in negotiations, so now I believe it. Bob would do nothing for Al Heyman and them just on a fly, right? Hey, can you help us promote? He wouldn't do that. So there has to be some truth behind that um, that rumor, right? Mm-hmm. And I think it's time. Look, I didn't see too many people talking about this fight. It's a great knockout, but it only went viral because of the boxing sites. Mm-hmm. You didn't see too many. I didn't. See, I didn't see on my feed too many casuals being like damn did you guys see tank tonight damn. it was it was boxing websites that i seen so um do i think pay-per-view numbers are going to be big nope not at all i don't because there was no one talking about this thing definitely and not it, at 80 bucks a pop like damn come yeah. on yeah and you know i you know i love the sport i've been buying all of them mm. this one i just couldn't do it because of one the david benavides fight that was a total trash that was total fucking mm. That guy literally probably oh, we'll, thanked we'll out. We'll get into that shortly. <laughs> yeah, he probably thanked Al Heyman as he got into his car and drove home never to come back to boxing again. You know what I mean? It was like one of those favors he did for Al, basically. Um, it was just a very hard fight to purchase. Uh, moving forward, you know, Dan- David Benavides didn't sound too confident in his shot at Canelo either. Mm-hmm. It really looked like he's he's past that fight. Um didn't hear him talk too much about better beef, and, and uh, he kind of did the whole, we'll just see what happens. I want to go home to my family. And like, come on, dude. Like, are yeah. you striking while it's hot or what? You know what I mean? Um, so, overall, I'm going to give it about a D, dude. And I don't think Amazon was happy at all. Um, the crowd looked good. I liked there was people there. Uh, I don't know how they, you know... I don't know what they do to get those, those fan seats, people in the seats, right? And... I think that, hey, listen, I'm just saying, Leonard is threatening to do it like an all-tell book. It's going to be awesome when that day, if that thing ever drops, that interview, the book, whatever, mm-hmm. to see, you know, all the, the uh, what is it, the tricks of the trade. They're like little magicians, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, it's like that, that special that they did on pro wrestling, like all the pro wrestling secrets. Like, yeah. You can really punch them. They're like, okay, <laughs> kind of, yeah, all right. Yeah. But yeah, one of those, the mass magician that comes out and tells you how to, how do the tricks are made. Yeah. I'm expecting one of those from Leonard. But uh, uh, he, yeah. I, I, he made the threat already. He's already said if Floyd don't back off, because, you know, Floyd is all out right now talking about he's ending fucking Tank's career. Mm. Um. It's kind of sad. Tank looked like he actually choked up when he was talking about Floyd after the fight. It was kind of sad. You know, that it's like a, a childhood hero, right? You, we all seen the photo of Floyd signing his phone when I guess when he's a young kid, he looks happy as hell. He's then signed by the guy that he's following for life, right? It's almost like, you know, it'd be like if Chavez was like, hey, Andrew, you're an asshole. Fuck you. Don't yeah. like that guy, Andrew. I'm like, fuck, yeah. man. And he's like actively trying to end you. You're like, damn. <laughs> like, damn, you ain't got to go that far. Yeah. So it, it, I got to I got to say Tank kind of didn't do himself any uh, justice when he fucking said he slept with Mayweather's daughter. That was stupid. <laughs> yeah. Right. That probably didn't help this situation at all, because I probably wouldn't forgive anyone if they said that in public about my daughter. So Tank didn't help himself there, but I think he's feeling it. I think after that fight, he was feeling the the uh, missing of Floyd Mayweather. Um, so we'll, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out um, going in the, going here uh, moving forward. Uh, but as far as opponents, man, look, Tank is kind of the odd man out right now. He's not the face of boxing. There's not really too many clamoring for him. To, you don't even hear people saying, you need to move up. We, we need the Ryan Garcia rematch. You don't even see, you know, there's... 
there's not a lot being said about him. He needs to watch out for that. You know what I'm saying? That he that all that momentum he had after the Ryan fight is now just all gone. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, the Pitbull Cruz rematch. You won't even give your fans that one, right? Mm-hmm. Pitbull Cruz. He, he's not giving anybody anything, dude. Like, w- I mean, realistically, looking at, you know, the the opponents that are there for him, Lomachenko, which uh, Bob Barham has already talked about, Shakur Stevenson, if that it comes to, to be uh, Pitbull Cruz, any of those three, because, I mean, I see a lot of stuff on Facebook. I see the the people posting these dumb shits like, oh, the statistics, look at the statistics. They, they um, what, what do they say? They don't lie. The numbers don't lie. And then they go through this record of, like, uh, Tank's last five opponents. And they, they're they all great records, but it's like, they're all undefeated. But, like, they don't they only have 20 fights. We're talking about Raleigh Romero here. We're talking about fucking, right. you know, and Frank Martin. It's like, are you fucking serious? These guys, we're going to look at these guys that are undefeated records and giving, you know, their O to, uh, well, not giving, but having their O handed to the to, to fucking Gervonta. But it's like, th- that's what we're going to go with? Like, we're not the quality of opponents. Just the fact that they're undefeated, you know, and these guys who have it, who've been unheralded, who haven't fought top competition, and they're undefeated, and then they lose their undefeated record to tank and that makes tank the shit like it, yeah it, the, those three are the ones that i think most fans want to see lomachenko in that order lomachenko shakur and and uh, uh um pitbull cruz but i mean realistically are we gonna get those like it doesn't seem like we're gonna get those now i bob aaron was talking about you know loma so that seems like there's legitimate talks about it but whether or not it actually gets done I don't know. I, I think what? If, if Leonard is going to be behind Tank, he's going to he's going to duck him. What 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 we they need to see is the money, because once they see get a taste of that pay per view top rank money, that real money that we don't it doesn't trickle in type of money, right? Mm. I think you'll see maybe uh, Davis want a little bit more of those fights maybe put his line a little bit more risk a little bit more um i also don't think he has too many more avenues with leonard ellerby leonard is not a power mover in this sport leonard is a yes man leonard is a face for floyd mayweather's company that's all he's ever been nobody ever thought leonard ellerby was the one that guided floyd's career no one ever (laughs) said you know what al Heyman's good but it's really that leonard guy (laughs) that leonard guy is the real magic maker and that no sorry leonard Sorry, you're a yes man to Floyd, and now you're trying to be the yes man to Davis. You know, if he wants a plate of food, you go and get it. And I'm not being a dick. I'm just saying that I see Leonard Allerby as that guy, not anything else. Right? I need I need a date for fucking uh, the gym. Go get go make that for me. Um, sorry, but that's just where it's at. Dude, Floyd had way too many other powerful people in his in his life to tell me that it was Leonard Allerby the whole time. Sorry, Tank. You struck out on that one. Um, once again, Richard Schaefer to me. And Richard ain't shit since Oscar's left him. And now we'll see where Leonard goes after Floyd has left him. Um, so uh, his options are wearing, wearing thin on, on because we know he needs he needs a bag of money, right? Sure. And in this day and age of boxing, it just doesn't look like those bags are there anymore. It definitely so, isn't coming from Amazon. That's for damn sure. Amazon not coming. You know, the, all right. We have to watch out, though, because Steven Espinoza said that there's a schedule coming, bro. Did you see that interview? No, no. So Steven Espinoza this week during the Tank press conference did go on record saying that Amazon and PBC are close to finalizing their schedule. Didn't okay. give any names, didn't give any hints. I don't know if he's just blowing hot air because the fucking mic was in front of him and he can't go, no, this is it. Yeah. Man, you know, <laughs> Amazon already told us we're fucking fired. I don't know. Yeah. Right. But so we'll just we'll give you guys hope that Mr. Espinoza, he might be working his calculator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but uh, he said that there is a there is a schedule coming out soon with with PBC and Prime. Um, I, I find it hard to believe because they they absolutely are losing all of their fighters. I don't know yeah. who's going to be left. Everyone seems to be fighting with other organizations now, other, you know, uh, promoters. And, and why they now? Want. Like, why wait until there's nothing left on the schedule and then be like, all right, now we're working on something. Like, no, you should have been, been, been working on something. There should never have been a gap like this to where you go to the website and you don't see anything already listed. It's like it should never have gone to that point to begin with. So the fact that, I don't know, I mean, Again, we we don't know, but uh, we might have to wait and see, and hopefully it happens relatively soon. But uh, it they shouldn't have waited this long because it looks right. bad. Right, 
And they, they really didn't ever come out and deny the rumors that are being said, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So, um, I did hope think? it's I hope it's not fighters like Mario Barrios and Caleb Plant and uh, Frank Martin, right? His comeback fight might be on their schedule. <laughs> like, bro, the fans are they don't. That's not what's going to get you an audience on on yeah. you know on the um, Amazon Prime. Um, you got to bring your hitters Rolando and Romero or some shit. Rolando Romero. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, like, great he's name. back. The comeback on pay-per-view. Like, no, yeah. no, I don't think so. No, this would be for their prime specials. You know what I mean? Okay. But that's the right. Regular that, ones are the regular ones. Yeah. But that's a great name of the fighters. It seems that Al Heyman has left or a bunch of B guys. That's mm -hmm. not going to get you an A side audience or A side paycheck, man. Yeah. Um, Caleb Plant versus Char. I mean, the Charlos are still there. One of them kind of already whispered he's he's leaving, right? He's done with boxing. I could have swore one of the brothers. Yeah, that yeah, sounds only... like the, the 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 middleweight. At least I thought that that's the last yeah. one that I remember uh, him saying. Like, all right, I'm, I'm, he gives up finally gives up the WBC belt. It's finally on to somebody else. But um, but yeah, uh, supposedly he's gone. Rather, because I think yeah. up here he's got some some shit going on, so he's already kind of already checked out mentally at least. So uh, it seems as though that's the case with him. Uh, yeah, they're, they're dwindling down. I was reading um, some stuff about uh, how the the ticket sales for um, uh, for the the Bud Crawford fight coming up, uh, the the tickets are being relatively are they're they're selling, they're moving because of the fact that they're in L.A. and Pibble Cruz is on the other card and and Andy Ruiz is on the card. Uh, if that's the kind of if if the tickets are moving because of those guys, it would be it would it would be uh, smart on you know uh, Tank's part to look at that and be like, oh shit, Pitbull Cruz, he's he's there. There might be a money fight there, a potential rematch. Um, I would like for that to happen because I don't know. Considering that, because this is the one excuse that they always come up with, and Leonard always does this. It's like, do those guys sell pay per view tickets? Do those guys sell tickets? And that's the first thing they're going to look at. And if we don't have some sort of track record of Lomachenko on pay per view or you know Shakur on pay per view. They're gonna they're gonna try to use that as their excuse to duck them. I think that's the direction they're going. They can't do that with Pitbull Cruz because it looks like he's moving tickets. Yeah, and and to be honest, I mean Leonard had a big cushion back in the day with HBO, with the the PBC che unlimited checkbook that they had when they had that those investment money. He's had he's had an avenue to always be that guy. Mm -hmm. That avenue is gone. Amazon is only a pay-per-view driven as of right now. It's sure. only pay-per-view driven. So they need, and we haven't seen the numbers on this fight, but I, I got to keep saying, I didn't see too many casuals. I didn't get one fucking phone call, dude. Not mm -hmm. one. You watching Tank tonight? Hey, did you see Tank fucking destroy that dude? Who was that guy? Right? I didn't even yeah. get that phone call. I got that one. I mean, that where I saw the fight is where they were just like, you know, like, oh yeah, Tank. They know who Tank is. Like, neither of them have heard of Frank Martin. So I'm like, all right, well, let me let me drop a little bit of knowledge on you guys and give you the the heads up. But for the most part, they had no fucking idea who Frank Martin was. Yeah. So I I can't see the numbers being that good. I think uh, they're they're gonna have to change their approach to this pay per view thing. It ain't gonna be the Floyd Mayweather we rob in the bank. It's all easy money, <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. come on, how easy is Leonard's life back in the day, bro? Mm -hmm. He doesn't he doesn't do shit but you know give Floyd Mayweather's wish list. That's all he has to do. Floyd gives him a list. He gets everything that he has on it, and everyone's happy. Boom, you're paid. He, no no moves at all. No moves mm -hmm. at all. He echoes everything that is told to him. That's it. What we need to know is if Tank is still a part of Al Heyman and PBC. Is Al Heyman Tank's manager? Um, I don't think he's his manager. I'm sure he's still involved Advisor? to some degree. Yeah, I'm Advisor. sure he's got some weird ass dumb title, but I wouldn't go as far as say he's his manager because um, that guy is so damn. You know, uh, he's he's inconspicuous. Sometimes you don't see him. I'm talking about Al Heyman. So we we rarely see him. I don't think we know what his actual title is. But I mean, he's the brains or the uh, whatever the the guy who moves PBC, um, and he does so also for for a tank, as I understand it. But what his actual title is, I don't know. Um, but I mean, if Tank is still with PBC as of now, PBC still is. Uh, Al Heyman's baby, Al so Heyman, I have to assume he, it's still they're still associated with themselves. Until we see anything different, I we I would have to assume that they're still connected. 
that's what I'm thinking at least. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, what are what do you think the likelihood is that we're gonna get Tank against another against a, a top notch opponent coming up? Like his next fight, if they, it'll be um, Lomachenko, it'll be Lomachenko. Are like good that that's gonna actually they'll do that? Yeah. Yes, bec because Loma is nowhere near what he used to be, and that's the Floyd Mayweather Leonard LRB way, right? Mm -hmm. We get them when they're old. We get them when they're used up. Did he have a big win? Cool. We'll fight him a year from now. He's already 32. We'll fight him when he's 33 and then brag about the win he had a year ago. That's what they do. You know, they never fought anyone in their prime. They never fought anyone off uh, hot victories. Like, oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. He might have fought Carlos Baldemir right after Baldemir <laughs> beat Zab Judah. <laughs> I take right. that back, people. You're right. He did take some hot fighters on. Oh, fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos Ball. You uh, knew Floyd was making that move. So, oh, yeah. Um, Paul Williams. Eh, we, we have the same manager. There's no way we could fight. Same manager. Same man. Uh, no. yeah. And Tony Margarito. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, not Margarito. Does he sell? Does he sell? But Carlos Baldemir fucking sells, right? Oh, fuck out of here. Yeah. And Andre Berto sells, right? That, that's why I can't do this shit again. I refuse to listen to Leonard Allerby's bullshit again. I did it as a child, right? In my 20s. I'm looking at these guys like, oh, these guys are so cool. Fuck out of here. You guys, you definitely robbed the bank. You definitely used a lot of diehard boxing fans for our money, right? And gave us shitty fights. I'm not doing it again with Tank. I don't care about... It. There are so many other opponents out there right now, especially at the 140 division that we would like to see match up. Tank is really, um, really, really losing his momentum here. I, I, he is not Floyd Mayweather. I, I know they like to say that he's making. Oh, did you hear about him signing some TV contract? Uh, Tank? No. So they, you know. they were trying. They were trying to say that that he signed a TV deal that should be announced soon, okay. and that it makes him richer than what Floyd Mayweather was at his age. So I guess both mm. at thirty, both at twenty nine, or whatever. Um, okay. So that's what Tank was bragging about. I don't know if that's with Prime Amazon, if that's the deal they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Believe me, one fighter is not going to save a network, but maybe that's what Leonard is working there with Al Heyman is, is Tank being the face of this Prime thing. But there is supposedly a uh, fight deal on the table for Tank Davis that will make him richer than Floyd. Okay, um, check this out. I, I just on that I pulled it up here. I, the only thing I can find right off the bat was something from June fifth. So we're you know some some days away from that already. Um, but it says says Javante D Tank Davis claims he is financially better off than Floyd Mayweather Jr. was at the same age after signing a six to seven fight deal. Told you. And, yeah, so it says um, the 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 uh, the title of that says Javante Davis claims he is richer than yada yada signing mega PBC deal. So, yeah. I mean, um, it's a PBC deal. I don't know if it's, it's a, a network per se, because I'm kind of going through the most of this article here and isn't mentioning a specific network or streaming service. But, um, yeah, as far as I can tell, that's the only thing that I'm showing. It's a six to seven fight PBC deal. OK, but does that mean automatically Amazon? It should, because PBC is strictly with Amazon right now. So we sh And with Steven Espinoza giving us that little golden egg about them working out on a deal, and then you got this coming out. I mean, you might be able to connect the dots that it's possible it's Tank Davis who Amazon is going to put their money behind. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, these guys have very good mouthpieces. They were in that, that Amazon office talking about that Ryan Garcia, 1.2 million buys. Maybe that's what got the guys, oh, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah you got 1.2 million buys. Mm -hmm. When they didn't even uh, show them what the Frank Martin pay-per-view numbers are going to be and and – that deal's already signed, right? But what if what if we see that the Frank Martin only did a uh, hundred and thousand pay per view buys, right? Mm -hmm. Now they're fucked. But that <laughs> yeah. that that's what happens when you you move a little too quickly, right? And they that's what Amazon might have done here because I, like I said, I don't really know where Tank is because I just this fight didn't make a lot of noise, and then uh, besides that, he lost Floyd, and Floyd is like the connection to that. His fan base is Floyd, right? Yeah. I mean, that that's who backed Tank Davis. So maybe they've they have uh, they've graduated, and all Tank uh, Floyd Mayweather's fans are like, "Nah, fuck Floyd. We're still Tank is the new guy. He's he's here. Uh, we'll right. see when the numbers come out. If the numbers come out, if he truly is the face of boxing, um, 
But yeah, that's, that's really all I got on, on that fight. Frank Martin, I'm sorry. I didn't know you before the fight. I don't think I'm going to know you after. That was a pretty bad knockout. You didn't do too much there to, to you know, make everyone remember you, you as a fighter. Um, just go back to the drawing board. They rushed you. You you know, they you probably shouldn't have been in the ring that night. Um, he definitely got beaten at the press conference. You look like mm-hmm. a little boy. You look like a little boy who was getting his fucking lunch money taken and uh and uh or taken and uh Errol Spence did nothing for him. Matter of fact, <laughs> yeah. Matter of fact, I think Earl Spence fucking ruined the confidence of his guy more than gave him confidence. I mean, he was literally looking past Frank Martin going, you don't ever fight anybody, Tank. Did you hear that? I'm like, bro, you are the promoter of the motherfucker sitting right next to you. And you're over here like, you ain't shit. You don't fight nobody. You're here for a check. Oh, my God. Bro, pump up your dude. Fucking, you know, talk about him. Don't get in a fucking arguing match with Tank and then tell him his opposition sucks while you're the promoter of one of his oppositions, <laughs> his opponents. What the fuck, you guys? So, yeah, I thought- Leonard was doing the same thing, dude. Do you see when Leonard got on the podium talking about, you know, basically he was belittling Frank Martin, right? And he's, <laughs> he's doing his best, I swear, to not sell the fight. I swear. He was talking so much. He's like, why is this fight even on pay-per-view? You know, oh, like, yeah, I did see like, that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Leonard. Fucking genius. Great. I was going to fight this goddamn pay-per-view. What the hell? It was I so did bad. see that. You're right, bro. I did see. I remember him saying that. Yep. When I saw that, I was like, God, this guy's not doing himself any favors. If this is the guy. This is the promotional brains that's going to be behind Tank. Oh, doesn't yeah, let, me, let me give you guys some pointers. And we're in a fight here. So who gives a fuck about making people mad? Start hitting Tank low. The guy's a wife beater. The guy's fucking walk suspect half the time. Like, let's start talking about his purses and his fucking the way he stands and talks and fuck. Fuck you, motherfucker. You know, you act hella hard, but you look like a little bitch on video. You know, like, get some fucking balls, man. This guy, Frank Martin's like, what? Well, I'm going to win. No, I'm going to win. Yeah, we'll yeah. see Saturday. We'll see Saturday. I was like, I was just like, like, we'll see Saturday. Yeah, bro, I was losing so much confidence in this guy. Oh, yeah, and yeah. and then, the, you know, you see the fight and he looks scared. He's playing fucking back foot. Um, nah, dude, it, it was it was. Yeah, it was very sad to watch uh, that that press conference. Then he, he, he was like, it looked like he told him, are you crying? You're crying. He's like, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, dude. Like, fucking push him. Act like a fucking man. You're all like, he's all, because fucking Tank said it. The dude's from um the suburbs. He ain't shit. You know what I mean? He, he's not. And then Frank literally acted that role the whole time. You did not. I, what did he say? He's like, I'm from Detroit. You didn't act like you're from Detroit at all, bro. Mm-hmm. You didn't, not at all. You look like a guy who was there to get beat up. And that's what happened. Yeah. Um, And it looked like Spence knew it. The fuck? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if we see Spence and, you know, uh, Tank taking pictures after the fucking fight in the ring still, yeah. you know what I'm saying? At that point, it's like, oh, we crushed the beef. It's like, what, those beef to begin with? I, yeah. I, would, I wouldn't have guessed by the damn shit talk that you guys did prior to the fight. But, um, yeah, that uh, <laughs> the selling of this fight was was garbage, yo. Like, very few, you know, uh, ads, very few commercials, very few. And then, you know, the fighters themselves with both Errol Spence and then Leonard Ed will be doing their damn this to not sell the fucking fight. Um, they didn't exactly, you know, help matters in my opinion, and then, at least. And then Tank not showing up. Isn't that out oh, of the, yeah. May- the Mayweather the, playbook, the bro? Rival, right? he, yeah. The grand rival, right? Yeah. Yeah, he showed up. Yeah. It, it's, it's just everything is out of the Floyd Mayweather playbook, and I'm not interested. I'm, I'm really not. You Let me tell you, Floyd Mayweather fans, something. One, he was forgotten about really fast. They don't talk about Floyd's undefeated record. They don't talk about none of his great fights. Anthony Joshua outshined him at a fucking celebrity boxing uh, photo shoot where the fans in the UK wanted nothing to do with Floyd. That don't happen to Muhammad Ali. That don't happen to Manny Pacquiao. I'm sorry. That it's just they they're in different levels. So well, the blueprint that Floyd carried his whole career made him money. Mm-hmm. It did nothing for his legacy. It did like literally the guy has to call himself the best ever. Nobody else does. <laughs> yeah. Nobody else right. does. It's it's pathetic. Did you ever see fucking Muhammad Ali walking around saying that after he retired? He might have said that as a fighter, but not after he retired. He didn't need to keep telling you guys over and over. 
I think that's what he was trying to do. He's trying to be at Muhammad Ali and doing something. It's like, all right, so Muhammad Ali calls himself the greatest. How the best? Oh, TBT, the best ever, or the TBE, whatever the hell, right? It's, that He was basically trying to do the exact same thing, but change the, the words. It's kind of like that funny meme. It's like, hey, can I copy your homework? Like, yeah, just change it a little bit so it doesn't look the same. I think we might have lost sound because I don't know if I can hear you. Can you hear me or no? Uh oh, are, are you there? Try muting yourself and then unmuting yourself. See how that works. Are we still recording? <laughs> 